A huge gray patch was found off the shores of the Santa Barbara Coal Oil Point Preserve in Southern California, and it quickly became a big mystery. No one was able to identify this seven foot, 600 pound thing until the power of social media brought it to the attention of a marine biologist. In the end, the identification of this gray patch would shock everyone. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. It's very difficult to ignore when a seven foot thing washes up on the beach. It's even more difficult to ignore the fact that no one seems to know what it is. That's what the employees of the Coal Oil Point Reserve in Southern California were dealing with back in 2019. While they thought the creature looked strangely familiar, a closer look would just lead to more questions. At first, Coal Oil Point Preserve experts believed the sea creature was a sunfish. This type of bony fish is one of the largest fish on Earth, with some of them weighing almost 2,000 pounds. The creature did look like a sunfish, but there was something about it that didn't match the description. It's important to know that the Coal Oil Point Preserve is protected by the University of California at Santa Barbara and is said to be one of the best examples of a coastal environment. The reserve is located right next to the Pacific Ocean, so the people who work there are no strangers to a wide variety of marine creatures. Researchers have stated that there is no shortage of magnificent creatures swimming in the deep sea, but nothing the size of the stranded animal they found. The intern who first spotted the creature washed up on shore said it just looked like a big grey patch. But when he got closer, he could see the entire body and it was one of the largest creatures he had ever seen. Conservation specialist Jessica Nielsen was quoted in a press release from the university saying the intern's find initially surprised her. There had never been anything like it on the reserve's shores. Unlike most creatures that are estranged on the beach, such as jellyfish, this creature had strange characteristics that she couldn't place. In an interview, the biologist said, this is without a doubt the most remarkable organism I have seen on the beach in my four years at the reserve. After posting photos of the strange creature on the reserve's Facebook page to see if anyone had any idea what it might be, evolutionary biologist Thomas Turner became interested in the mystery and he reached out. Now, being an evolutionary biologist, one would think Thomas would have an idea of what the creature might be. Unfortunately, he was as stumped as everyone else. That didn't mean he wouldn't travel with his family to California to see the creature up close. During an interview with CNN in February 2019, Thomas said, It's the most unusual fish you've ever seen. It doesn't have a tail and all of its teeth are fused together, so it virtually has no teeth. It just has a big round opening for a mouth. And did we mention this sea creature was huge? Taking the fact that the creature was seven feet long and weighed 600 pounds, some researchers at the Coal Oil Point Reservoir concluded it was an ordinary sunfish. When they posted photos of it to iNaturalist, a social media platform for conservationists, the general audience agreed that the creature was just a sunfish. But when fish expert Ralph Foster from the South Australian Museum got involved, everyone started to doubt their initial conclusion. After examining the animal, he concluded that it wasn't an ordinary fish. In fact, he didn't think this creature was a documented species at all. This new perspective made waves, and fortunately enough, Ralph thought he knew someone who might have answers. That person is Marianne Nygaard, a marine biologist. Ralph contacted her to get a second opinion. He sent her an email with an explanation of how the creature was found and the available photos hoping to get more concrete answers. At that point, any perspective was welcome. Unfortunately, Marianne was not impressed by the photos and she was unable to draw any conclusions, so she couldn't say what the creature might be. That doesn't mean Marianne gave up on trying to identify the creature. She just needed to get a better look. The photos of the creature weren't clear enough, so she was reluctant to base any identification on them. But she was more than willing to help Foster determine what kind of creature it was, so they contacted Jessica and Thomas to get better quality images. Jessica and Thomas were more than happy to go back to the beach and take better pictures. But when they got there, they found a new problem. The creature was gone. 
it had been washed away by the tide. They didn't give up though. But before we keep going, don't forget to like this video to help it reach 7K likes and subscribe to the channel for more content. Now, Jessica and Thomas were still hopeful that if they continued surveying the beach, the creature would reappear sooner or later. In the end, they were right. The giant grey patch appeared only a short distance from its original spot and they managed to take high definition photos. With any luck, those images would help Marianne and Ralph find some answers. When they were taking the photos, Jessica and Thomas took a better look at the mysterious creature. That's when they noticed a few distinctive characteristics they hadn't seen before. Those characteristics would make a breakthrough in the mystery because they confirmed that the creature wasn't a sunfish. Now, they were even more excited to pass the photos along and see what Marianne and Ralph made of them. It finally felt like they were getting closer to discovering the truth about the sea creature. Jessica would later share that taking the photos and collecting samples was very exciting. They understood that what they were doing at that moment could potentially lead to an extraordinary discovery. And it turns out she wasn't wrong about that. Once the photos got to Marianne, the true nature of the fish came to light. She later told CNN that when she realised what they were dealing with, she almost fell out of a chair. After examining the second batch of photos, Marianne and Ralph realised that it wasn't a common sunfish. It was a hooded sunfish. Funnily enough, it was Mariana who discovered this type of sunfish in 2017 and named the species Hoodwinker. Given the sheer number of fish species and varieties, it's amazing that the scientists managed to identify the creature so soon after getting a better look. The common ocean sunfish was discovered back in 1758, but back then, scientists were only aware of that species. They didn't have the same access scientists do now to the depths of the ocean, so they didn't know there's a variety of different sunfish. As time went on and technology evolved, a new type of sunfish was spotted in the Southern Hemisphere, specifically off the coasts of Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, to mention a few. It was then that Marianne Nygaard decided to focus on this mysterious species. In an interview with CNN, Marianne said that the hoodwinker sunfish had gone unnoticed for so long because it was difficult to differentiate from a common sunfish. In the beginning, everyone thought that the stranded creature was a sunfish because that's what they look like at first glance. So they're a bit deceiving and it's what leads to so much confusion about the sunfish species. The hoodwinker kind has gone by virtually unnoticed, fooling everyone in the process. Based on the first photos she saw, it didn't even cross Marianne's mind that it could be a hoodwinker sunfish because they had never been seen near the United States before. Apparently, California is the northernmost point where a hoodwinker sunfish has been spotted. So, the fact that it washed up there was one of the most interesting things. The typical waters for this kind of fish are in the southern hemisphere, but it's not uncommon for sunfish to drift. In any case, the fact that it reached California was a very interesting experience for the scientific community. This became the first record of a hoodwinker sunfish in the Americas and only the second record in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, there's still much to be discovered about the hoodwinker sunfish. It was only identified in 2017, so there's still a lot to be learned about the species. It's very exciting to see what else will come to light about this elusive creature. What do you think of today's story? Let us know in the comments. It's funny how a seemingly common thing like a stranded fish can lead to such important discoveries. It goes to show that you never know what the day will bring. Don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, and subscribe to the channel for more stories like this. Until next time.